He freaking looks like Vin Diesel right here. I don't got friends. I got family. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is me from the future. I just want to let you know that the look of ControlNet is a little bit different now with the update. It's set up as tabs and it's not stacked anymore. It might look different for you, so don't worry. It's just the look. It hasn't changed the way it works. All right, back to the video. Hello everybody. Today, we're going to be working with Multi Control Net. As you can see, I got a bunch of nets here, a bunch of control nets here that we're going to be messing around with. Uh, I got a clip that we're going to be working with. So we're going to be working with this clip right here i shot this at a convention this guy dressed as one punch man and i'm gonna create something cool with it hopefully if you haven't set up multiple show nets then it's very easy just make sure that you're up to date and then apply it in restart ui and then you go into settings go down to where it says control net and right there multi control net and you put how many you want you apply settings reload that's it simple so we go down here we enable this. I'm gonna put canny. I'm gonna put a second one right here. Enable that. Make this HED. Make sure that this is the right dimensions. Oh, this is a big, this is gonna be a big one. I'm gonna push the denoising strength. I'm gonna push it high. I, I just wanna see what's gonna happen. Let's bring this down. All right, let's just try this. Let's see what happens. This actually doesn't look too bad. It's a bit blurry, but uh, here in canny, I see that there's not a lot of outlines for all the other details on this person. So if you come down here into canny, so I lower the high threshold and lower the low threshold, it should give me more outlines here. So let's try that again. Ah, uh, you see, there you go. So it gave me way more outlines for this. So now we can detect stuff and this detects other details that this one doesn't. So, so we wanna use both of these and somehow make this thing work. All right, so we're gonna go down here. The, the stronger we push this, the more it's gonna try to follow the edge ED. It's gonna try to follow this a lot more. But if you push it too hard, uh, then some wacky stuff starts to happen. And I actually wanna show you really quick. Yeah, so as you see, when you push it too hard, it starts to like add some weird just colors to it. So you definitely don't wanna push it very hard. So let's try to make this lower. Let's actually try to lower this slightly and Let's bring down the denoising strength slightly too. Let's see what we can do. Nice, that's very cool. Yeah, but the arm is just kind of funky looking still. So we got to correct that. I actually lowered the denoising strength quite a bit um, because I was just getting some weird results and I kind of like this. Um, it looks kind of blurry though and his eyes are not that correct. Maybe I have to mess around with these settings right here. So. sucks so bad <laughs> i'm not getting the results that i want exactly so i went ahead and just exported it as a one by one unfortunately i won't be able to see the wide scope of everything but i think i just want to test this out to see if this works better the problem is that when it's a widescreen i am having to make the dimensions bigger if i want to get more details i have to make it bigger but since there's a bunch of empty space that i'm not using it's just kind of a waste so i just went ahead and just made it square so that i can make it bigger i don't have to make the width super wide so that it always fits within the frame so i think one by one should allow me to boost both of them together and hopefully not uh, cause any issues these are the results i was looking for the way i got this is um I found like a sweet spot with the width and the height. And for the HED, I brought it a little bit lower. I think if you push a little bit too hard on both of them, you tend to just get a mess. Um, I think it's just finding a little bit of that balance because you're using two, two different guides. So you don't want them to kind of mess each other up too much. So I've been testing some of these and they've been looking pretty consistent. I want to see a little bit of a up close one, see how that looks. I wanted to color correct his red gloves because stable diffusion was making his red gloves his skin tone. I wanted to really make sure they were very red and it worked because I got some really good results from it. All right, finally, I was able to get something that I was happy with 
it took so long. I, I took so long that control net had an update and I updated it. And now, yeah, the UI looks a little different now from when I started. So that's how long it took me. Now the control models are not stacked this way. Now they're set up as tabs right here. So I, I like it. I think it's a little better because then you don't have to be scrolling all the way down to go uh, make changes. So now you can just come here and make the changes here. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I did. Uh, I put uh, right here, you'll be able to see too. I used Canny, got a little bit of the outline here. I decided to not go with HED because I wasn't getting the results that I liked. So I went with normal, uh, normal map. This is the setting that I did with Canning. I lowered a little bit of the threshold here and then uh, made the weight quite low. I wasn't getting very much consistency when I put it too strong, so. And then here in the normal map, I left that at one and then the guidance strength at one. And it seems to be working good that way. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Let me actually take it off and just see what it looks like without the normal map. Yeah, so it looks a little bit different. Let me actually compare them side by side. Without the normal map, this is what it looks like. And with it, this is what it looks like. To me, this looks better with the normal map. So that's why to me, it's good to have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable these again, both of them. And then I'm gonna go to batch. Put the input, output, and just generate. So I generated two and I'll explain right now why I did two. So the one on the left is without control net and the one on the right is with control net, but they both have the same exact settings. So I wanna show and I myself wanna see how different they are from each other and also see in the improvement when using control net. So let's check it out. You see how, yeah, like right here. So here it's not really following the original video. So it's gonna make it lack that consistency that we want. And here it's very consistent. Again, these are the exact same settings on both, but this is what control net is doing right here. When it's far away, you don't see that much detail. It's kind of like one of those episodes from SpongeBob or Ren and Stimpy. When you look at them from far, you don't see any wrinkles or anything, but then they do those shots where they're very zoomed in and it looks kind of gross. And you see all the wrinkles and all the dirt and all the nastiness. From far, you don't see that much detail, but it starts to change. You see right there, there started to be a change as the guy is getting closer to the camera. Here, he freaking looks like Vin Diesel right here. Look at Yo, I don't got friends. I got family. <laughs> he says something like that, right? Yeah, so you get closer, you see a little bit more detail. If this animation was all up close, then you would probably see the animation looking like this. Since I was walking towards him with the gimbal, at first he's very far away and then he comes up close. And so the AI doesn't really give that consistent style all throughout, but I think in a way that's kind of realistic. When you're far from somebody, you tend to see a lot less detail. Uh, I know it's not perfect. It still has that jitteriness that everyone knows about when it comes to AI animations. But I gotta say, I'm not using any tools. I'm not even using EB Synth or anything. This is all straight from Stable Diffusion. And I would say it's quite consistent. I think with the help of EB Synth, maybe you can make it look really sick, really smooth. So it went from this, To this bam please like subscribe comment let me know if this was helpful for you i know for some people this is not really a tutorial it's, it's really more me experimenting but uh, i think it's good to see what everything does you know see myself fail multiple times so that you can you know improve on it all right everyone thank you so much for watching take care god bless